Hello, my friends. God bless you. Giving you understanding regarding the, His will for your lives. You know that <laughs> when the person has the Holy Spirit, when the person receives the Spirit of God, then their values are against the values of this world. As long as the person doesn't have the Holy Spirit, they have their eyes, their physical eyes, in the things of this world. They want to gain money, they want to have success, they want to have access to everything that the world presents. It's like if they want to go to a shopping and buy everything they could see, everything, everything, with the money, they could satisfy their flesh. However, they are not only their body, they have a soul. And when they receive the Holy Spirit, then their soul is submissive to the Spirit, to His intellect, to His reasoning, to the Spirit of God, and they give value to what is invisible, to what is promised, determined to those who love God, those who follow and obey His Word. So, the values from people who don't have the Holy Spirit are worldly. The values of those who have the Holy Spirit are spiritual. That's why many people, they think that those who live by faith, they are crazy. <laughs> and truly, those who live by faith, they live by the craziness of the Word of God, the craziness of the cross, the craziness of the sacrifice by faith. That's the reality. So, for example, you are watching me in this moment. And you are concerned with your life, your physical life. You want to conquer, you want to have money, you want to have job, you want to have health, you want to have success, you want to have family, you want so on, to enjoy your life as long as you can. However, this life that you have, like mine, it has an expiry date. There is an expiry date. There is no other way. But life of the soul has no expiry date. It lives forever, either with God or in the lake of fire and sulfur, which is the destination of Satan, death, and the false prophet, and hell itself. Hell will be in the lake of fire. So the, the fate that the person gives to their soul, sometimes they end up allowing themselves to not give attention to the voice of God, the Word of God. I was thinking a little bit how many people, unfortunately, they just want to receive, receive, receive. Oh, Bishop, pray for me for this. Ask God to do that and tell God to uh, my husband, my wife, to leave the addictions, to leave the lover, to come back home, to do this and that. People are filled with their needs, filled with problems, and they think, usually, that money will satisfy all their needs. Will not. The money satisfies the needs of the body. That's it. But not the soul. The person may have a lot of money. They may be the owner of this world. But if they get sick with an incurable disease, he will die. He will die and will not be able to solve the problem of that 
uncurable disease. So look at you, my friends. Look at you. Look at your own life, the whole life, not just what you see, your body. Look to what is inside of you that is your soul. What is inside of you that speaks through your mouth, that sees through your eyes, that smells through your nose, that hears with your ears. This being called soul is inside of you. And this being, it's only satisfied, it's only healthy when hears the word of God and starts to practice it. Yesterday we spoke, Jesus said, give and it shall be given, isn't it? Very well. The most important thing that you have to give to Jesus is not your money. It's not your house. It's not your properties. No. The most important thing for you to give to Jesus is your soul. But your soul has to come completely surrendered. Surrendered. You have to leave seeing, oh, Bishop, this is hard for me to leave my... My lover, oh, I love, I like, I enjoy, I'm satisfied, I have pleasure in that moment. You have pleasure, but you know that this is wrong, this goes against the word of God. Your soul, your soul is in agony because you, you are going against what the word of God says your soul needs and it's only satisfied with the word of God. There is no way. There is no other way. Money will not satisfy your soul. It satisfies your body, your flesh, but your soul, it doesn't. Your soul, it's only satisfied when it is living according under the submission humbly according to the word of God. So many people they are going through problems of depression because their soul is shouting, their soul is desperate, their soul is mourning. But what will solve this problem? Money, success, work. What will solve the problem? What will solve the problem of this soul? Health. No. You see people, they are very important, rich. They are killing themselves. They have health. They have strength. They are young. These people, they are killing themselves. Why? Because their soul is desperately hungry, thirsty. That's why Jesus said, give, and it shall be given to you. You, you live today, you live today what you gave yesterday, what you sold yesterday. You live tomorrow, you're going to enjoy tomorrow what you are giving today. If you are sowing seeds for your flesh, tomorrow you are going to reap death, suffering, pain, depression, hell. But if you sow today the Word of God, obey the Word of God, give attention to the Word of God, give attention more to what is invisible, tomorrow you are going to reap the Holy Spirit. And then you will be a truly happy person. You are going to have peace. Peace. The peace is for the soul, it's not for the body. The body doesn't need peace. The body needs food to be, get strong. But peace, only the soul needs peace. 
The soul needs, wants peace, and as long as it doesn't have peace, it is desperate and it hears the voice of evil that says, end your life because there is no other way for you. You know there is no other way. End up this once and for all and you rest. Lie. The soul doesn't die. The soul doesn't die. Therefore, it's not never going to rest. Never. As long as it doesn't surrender, it doesn't give itself, it doesn't submit the itself to the word of God. Keep this, my friends. Sometimes people, they focus all their future, all their life in the things that are going to pass by, that has an expiry date, and they forget the soul. That's why they suffer, killing themselves and so on, throwing themselves under a bridge before the, the track of the train. My friends, use your intelligence. You are intelligent. You know what I'm talking about. Look inside of you. If you do not have the Holy Spirit to guide, to conduct your soul, your soul will be thirsty, hungry, and it will never be satisfied until the moment that it has an encounter with God. Then, yes, it will have peace. It will have life. It will be satisfied. God bless all of you. And until tomorrow, in Jesus' name, amen.